start with your name if you're... My name is Reginald Franklin. I understand you're a, a veteran yourself? Yes. Okay. And what happened tonight? Uh, well, we, my friends and I were actually sitting around and we were having some cigars and we heard something that really sounded... I, I, I recognized it was a gunshot instantly. Um, and then we saw a gentleman uh, run out of the U-Haul. Uh, looked to be somewhat uh, Hispanic, about 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, uh, covered his face with a, with a T-shirt. Uh, and ran out and then headed to uh, basically hooked the hooked the left uh, down. I forget the name of the street, but we're on San Jacinto right now. But uh, he um, took off, and then the gentleman that was actually shot started limping out. And I recognize him pretty much throughout the area. Uh, he normally carries his black bag, which is over there. But he was a homeless vet, and he was, he, all he t told us when we ran towards him, my friends and I, that he was that basically he was shot for no reason. And um, we applied a tourniquet on him to the, to the EMTs and the, and the firemen showed up. So we, uh, we tried to just make sure you just keep him ch chest compressions and just try to keep him vibrant while we were while we were waiting on, on, on help to come. So you actually started CPR on, on the victim? Yes. Okay. Um, and I, I assume you have some type of medical background being a vet? Uh, not much. I just know some of the basics of CPR training. Um, but I, uh, as far as trauma like that, it was doing our best just to keep him calm. And uh, you know, and to just wait for help to come. Anything else? All right, that's great. Thank you very Thank much. You. No problem. Yes, everybody's good. Yes, sir. Okay, we're at 1600 San Jacinto. The call came in just around 9:30 tonight. Uh, what we know right now is we've got one adult male. He appears possibly a homeless uh, individual. One of our citizens believe he's possibly a veteran because he's seen him in the area quite a bit. Um, he's been shot in the leg one time. Uh, he lost a lot of blood, but evidently he's going to be okay, hopefully. HFD got here and did a good job. Uh, some citizens right across the street, they heard the gunshot. They were alerted to it. They came across and they immediately started helping. They put a tourniquet on our victim, which was very well might have saved his life. But anyway, uh, HFD got here, transported him to the hospital quickly. Um, all we know right now is there was some kind of confrontation with some kind of maybe a little bit younger Hispanic male. We don't think a, a young juvenile, but a Hispanic male wearing dirty, dirty type shorts and maybe a white t-shirt took off uh, south on San Jacinto. Uh, so officers are canvassing the area, seeing if we can find something. Not sure if he's a homeless male as well. Um, we did find one pistol casing, so we're hopefully maybe we'll find this guy and look like we got some good video. Any questions? So the uh, the victim, I'm sorry. Witnesses may have been doing CPR. On the they did. No, well, I don't know if they performed CPR, but they definitely put a tourniquet on. So they, yeah, they heard the gunshot. They ran across the street immediately and started uh, helping him out. You know, and like I said, he, he, they very well could have saved his life because he did lose a lot of blood. Okay. All right, guys.